Good morning. Welcome to a visit with Hoya Bella, one of my favorite Hoyas of all time. This plant is about two and a half years old and it's in absolutely spectacular condition. I'm going to give you a close-up of the of the blooms. They're so delicate and absolutely beautiful. This Hoya is extremely easy to keep as long as you remember one thing. Never let it dry out or you're going to lose this plant. I tried to keep this plant a number of years ago and had nothing but problems with it because I let it dry out between waterings. Now I keep the plant in a self-watering pot. Always keep it topped off with water and you'll never have another problem with this plant. I would guesstimate right now that this plant has between 50 and 75 uh, pedicles full of blooms with hundreds of flowers. The only way you're going to really be able to appreciate this is to for me to photograph or video it from uh, underneath which I'm going to attempt to do. So if I sound a little bit funny in the next segment it's because I'm trying to take a video of the plant in a very uncomfortable position. Well I thank you for visiting with me in Hoya Bella and I'll be back real soon with another fantastic Hoya. Good morning. Welcome back to my Hoya Bella video. You really can't get a full appreciation for the spectacular plant unless you photograph or video this from underneath. So I am laying on my back getting this video. It's unbelievable. I even had no idea that it looked as great as this. Um, and because the flowers all hang straight down, the only way to really appreciate this is to lay underneath it. So it's just absolutely stunning. Um, this has got to go right to the top of your list as the best Hoyas to own. And this plant reached a spectacular size and condition probably in about two and a half years from cuttings. So once again, Hoya Bella, just one of the best Hoyas of all time. Thank you for watching.